So you've probably been thinking about holiday travel, but not really sure if it's too early to be looking for those best deals. Well, Camry Price with our family passport says you should be booking holiday travel right now if you want to save money. Great to see you. Hi. So a lot of people may be holding out for those last minute deals around Thanksgiving or yes. Christmas. Why is now better? Okay, so historically, Google has taken five years of data and they've shown that September, so about 20 to 88 days in advance and for, before the holiday is the best time to book for the lowest price. The idea of a last minute holiday deal is a unicorn. It doesn't really exist. So right now is the best time to jump on and start planning your trips and narrowing down what you wanna do and where you wanna go. And we count on you to help us save as we do. First, you say flexibility counts. So this is really tricky, especially when you're navigating holidays, right? Because you're wanting to make the most of schools that when your, school, when your kids are out of school or you sure. don't have work, but flexibility is going to be a big, big determinant when you're able to find a good deal because those holiday travel dates, they we have peak travel dates, right? Day before Thanksgiving, 26th of December. So how can I see if flying out on a Monday versus flying out on a Thursday is advantageous? Okay, so my favorite tool, it's so crazy, silly, stupid, is Google Flights. They have all of the data, it's right there for you, and it is one of the most underutilized tools, and it's free. The data is right there, you can see, you can go to a flexible date calendar, it'll show you, hey, if you fly out this day, it can be $200 cheaper than if you fly out on a Tuesday. It does all of the work for you. You also recommend setting up price trackers? Yes, so there are a bunch of different sites that will do free price trackers for you. So Google, you can set up a free price tracker. So let's say I'm looking at a flight from Salt Lake to Mexico. I wanna go to Cancun. Yeah. I can set up a free price tracker. It'll let me know any time that the flight goes up or down. It'll just come to my email and say you're tracked flight has gone up or down, but Skyscanner does it, Kayak does it, Capital One does it, and you can get those price trackers so you can see, oh, all right, you can watch the trends, you can have a good idea of when those flights do go up or down in price. It's nice to just see and to know. Yes, right, because we also always hear like, oh, it's cheaper to book flights on a Tuesday. That's not really true. You, Google does the, the, all the data crunching for you. This surprised me. You say we should maybe open our minds a little bit and consider flying on the actual holiday. Okay, so I have an example for you. This is a crazy example and this is like, Insane, but we were going to Egypt last year for Christmas. We oh, were rich. No, just yep. Egypt. <laughs> we were planning on coming home the 27th. I got on and I double checked, and I found that if we moved our trip three days earlier and we came home on the 24th of so Christmas Eve, uh -huh. it was a thousand dollars per ticket saved. So we we shifted our our trip by three days and we saved a thousand dollars per ticket. Wow. Now that's the extreme, sure, right? Not sure. everyone's going to Egypt for Christmas. Not everyone's booking a two thousand dollar flight, but that that it is really important. And sometimes those dates like. Christmas Day is a really cheap day to fly. Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving itself are actually pretty good days to fly. It's the dates around those holidays that are crazy. That get sticky. You recommend mm -hmm. using individual airlines flexible date calendars. Yes. Do, do most airlines have one? Almost every airline is going to have a flexible date calendar. They're not super easy to find. So on Deltas, you put in all of your information, right? Salt Lake to wherever, and then your dates. And then there's this tiny little button in the bottom where you just click and it says show flexible dates. And then it'll pop up this flexible date calendar that you can see, it'll give you all the data. But almost every airline has it. Southwest has it, Delta has it, you know, United has it, American has it. You they, just have to look for they it. They just make it a little tricky yeah. for us mm -hmm. to find. Yes, because why not, right? Why not? Should I wait to book my hotel or should I do that now as well? So this is where it's a little tricky is that hotels often right before the travel are gonna be a little bit cheaper if they haven't sold out, right? The tricky thing is, is you don't wanna show up to your destination and not have somewhere to stay because if availability has run out, then they're gonna cost exorbitant amounts. So I suggest booking hotels and resorts now and then checking the price a few days, few days to a week before you leave. And if there is extra availability, often those prices will come down and you either modify your booking or you cancel and you rebook. I think, and you know this better than I do, after last year's travel season, a lot yes. of people are holding their breath. You yes. say it's a good time to get educated on, on what your rights are if there is an upset or delay. For sure. We have seen between the pandemic and then the absolute meltdown that happened last year that meltdowns happen. So there is a website that was put out by the US Department of Transportation. It's transportation.gov slash air consumer. And it has all of the information on what your rights are, if your bags are delayed, if they're lost, if your flight is canceled, everything that you could need. And it has individual information for each airline. And then there are little nuances within each airline as well. So like Delta has a policy, no one knows about it, that um, if your bag is delayed, they'll, they'll send you SkyMiles. Southwest also has a policy that if your flight is delayed, they'll send you vouchers. Okay. 
So no, know yes, what's available, know what's to, available you. to you. You've got a few websites that you're being gracious to share. We'll put these yeah. on the screen. These are websites and Instagram accounts you recommend following for great deals. We're gonna add yours to the list. Yeah. How can people find you, Camry? You're so, so helpful. Our Family Passport, that's my website and my Instagram. And then we love sharing all sorts of family travel deals. We believe so much in getting out and exploring the world together, but doing it at an affordable cost. Our Family Passports. All right, we'll link you from our website. Thank you so yes. much. Very helpful for those looking to get out of town for the upcoming holiday season.